So with those opening comments, I want to first begin with, uh, um, you know, Dr. Mehta here. So let's uh, talk about, uh, you know, uh, the whole commercial vehicle dimension, right? And uh, you've been in this space for many years, you've written extensively about it. What do you think are some of the key issues on the ground that you are still facing um, for mass adoption? Sure. So thank you. Uh, I think let me start with the opportunity first rather than the challenge. Uh, and I, I think for all the people here in this room, uh, probably the most important question is, what is the opportunity for all of this landscape? And I think it's a fantastic opportunity. This is a once in a hundred year opportunity. If you put the uh, automotive industry in perspective, it's the largest manufacturing industry in the country, in the world. We are about 35% of manufacturing in India. We employ the maximum number of people. And I think for a long time to come uh, since the IT uh, boom, India was looking for a sector which would produce probably the maximum innovation, the maximum growth, and maximum jobs. And I think this is what the EV ecosystem will do for the country. So if you take a 10-year view, I, I don't think one in the EV industry one can take a month-to-month -month or a quarter-to-quarter -quarter view. You have to, don't get into this if you're looking for change within the next one month. But over a 10-year perspective, I'm at least very clear that outside of China, we will be the largest EV market in the world. And where does that bring opportunities? That brings opportunities as an OEM, that brings opportunities as part of the ecosystem, whether it's dealers, suppliers, etc. And of course, part of the ultimate ecosystem, whether it is batteries, whether it's charging systems, whether it is all of this that comes into it. And I think the second thing we should look at, and this is normally not spoken enough, is this is not just an opportunity to sell in India. This is an opportunity to sell to the world. Today, China is 95, 98% of the EV market of the world. And they are exporting to many countries. And everywhere in the world, there is a requirement for a China plus one. Mm. So people are looking for alternatives to China. So that's the opportunity that all of us have in the EV industry. And now, maybe I'll spend a minute to speak about commercial vehicles. Commercial EVs obviously make the most sense because EVs make sense the more you use. This is the total cost of ownership makes sense the more you use an EV. And typically a car is used 5% of the time except if it's in fleets or any of the other things. So if you're using a two-wheeler, if you're using a four-wheeler, if you're using a bus, the business case will make sense first. So this is why the adaptation will happen first in all of these use cases. Now given all of this, I think we are moving towards something which is absolutely historic. I mean, I'll give you, again, sometimes we are, we always look at the challenges of our country, but look at the opportunity. The, for all the hype and all the talk, and I'm, I'm sorry to put it so bluntly, Europe has been talking about sustainability for such a long time. What's the size of the electric bus industry? 3,000 buses last year. Has been plus minus 5% for the last 15 years. The largest manufacturer in Europe for buses makes 300, 400 buses a year. And what are we talking about in India this year? From April of this year, we had 3,000 electric buses all over the country. This year, we probably will have tenders for, well, the next one for 50 is coming. Even if you don't take 50, it will be at least 15,000 buses which will get tendered out in India this year. So that's the size and scale of this opportunity which is happening. And I think uh, personally, this is a huge, huge opportunity for everybody in this room uh, really to look at new sectors, new opportunities, and uh, the, the glass is half full or even much more than that here. Oh, absolutely. I thought I covered the opportunities uh, piece and I assume that everybody knows about it, but thanks for uh, bringing it up.